Hello guys, my name is TJ Plays Now, and today we are back with a new video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about my Discord Minecraft hookbot, and how you can get it set up on your server and use it and everything all in its glory. So, the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to come to the Discord Minecraft hookbot spigot page down in the down in the description, or if you're watching this on this page, that's all cool. So, you're going to want to go ahead and click the Download Now button. Obviously, we have to have the plugin downloaded. And you're also then going to want to go to the Discord Bot API, which is also down in the description. Go ahead and click the Download Now button on it, and then you're just going to go ahead and click the Download button. It's going to take a couple seconds. It might ask you, oh, are you sure you want to do this? It, it's okay. We'll just go, on, go ahead and wait for this to... I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> okay, close that. Click this that one button. Let's see if it downloads any faster. I don't know. It's going weird. So, once you get the stuff downloaded, I have this downloaded. We're going to go over to your disk or your Minecraft server. You're just going to plop that in your plugins folder and that's one of the only plugins I have in there at the moment. You, with that, you're going to also just going to make sure that you don't have um, one of my plugins that I have, the config API plugin. In the version of Discord Minecraft hook, it actually breaks everything if you have that. I don't know why, and I'm going to have to fix that so that way you can use other plugins that I have that actually require the config API, but all good. Alright, so now Google Drive has said this. Just go ahead and click download anyway, and keep. Now this is going to take a couple minutes to download. It is a big file. It's 50 megabytes. That's because it includes Discord 4J and a whole bunch of other things. It is finished now. Let's go ahead and drag this over to our plugins folder. Copy that in there. You can see that it's in there now. And now we're just going to go ahead and click the start button for our server. And we're going to let our server load. It's going to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff and it will tell us a message since this is our first install. It'll tell us that we need to go ahead and configure stuff. So before we let it go through the configure stuff, we're just going to alt tab over here. You're going to want to go to Discord app.com slash developers slash applications slash me link down in the description as well and in here you're going to want to go ahead and make a new app all right we can name this app anything i'm going to just call it for the simplicity of this tutorial we are going to call it exactly what the bot name is minecraft hook just like that all right and app description you can go ahead and do whatever you want in these tabs um description let's say that right we don't need an app icon, and we can just go ahead and create the app. Alright, cool. Now, another thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to click Create a Bot User. And yes, please do that. Um, something, you don't have to do it, but it's probably good to go ahead and check mark this bot, or this, this button right away. Public bots, that way you can add it to your server really easily. You're also going to want to click to reveal this token. This token is needed, you're going to select all of it, and then copy it. Now, looks like our server is finished loading. It says, warning, created a new config. Please go and edit it before reloading the server. So we are going to go ahead and stop the server, completely stop it, and come back over to our folder, plugins, Minecraft hook, config.yml. All right, so first thing, the token, bot user token goes here. Make sure, I would suggest putting it into quotes, just like this. These are single quotes and do that. That's That way it works all right and, you know, everything's fine. Now you're also going to want to go ahead and grab back from our browser the client ID, which is this right here. Copy that and go ahead and put that in quotes as well and paste it right there. All right, that is all good. Now, all of these roles are sort of there. They, they work. So, basically, all of all of these things you can leave them as they are right now i'll tell you guys just a little bit more about them here later on so let's go ahead and minimize that page and go back to this and if we go to test server and start bot dot bat 
everything should load up perfectly fine. Now we're gonna have to give it a couple seconds and it'll load up. Boop. Alright. Preparing the spawn area, let's go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger so that way we can see everything that it's printing to the screen. So you are going to be spammed with a whole bunch of different messages from Discord's 4J. It's... it happens. You can't really stop that. So all of that happens though, and it says WebSocket connected and connected to Discord Gateway version 5 receiving zero guilds. That means that everything is working perfectly fine now. So we're gonna go ahead and pop into Discord next. Let me go ahead and get Discord opened and ready in a new test server for you guys. Alright, so now that you have your Discord server opened up and are ready to add the bot to the server, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come back to our browser, just like this, and we are going to copy this client ID again. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and go to this link right here, plus the client ID. We have to go ahead and click this, and then control paste the client ID right there, and then everything will work all fine and the bot should be given all of the permissions that we think it needs to have. So we're going to be choosing Discord Minecraft hook for the server that we add the bot to, and then we just give it all of these perms and it should be able to work. So click authorize. I'm not a robot. And then we just got Discord messages. That's probably from something else though. Well, no it's not. Discord Minecraft bot has been added. Alright, and he is online, so what we can do right away is do exclamation mark help, alright? And that's going to give us a very nice long help message. This is different for users that are admins on the server and that aren't admins. So all users will get this much, okay? They will also get this. So all users get commands verify help and the all of your custom commands that you have. Then. Um, anyone that is an admin, has an admin rank, uh, permission, they will be able to see these in the help menu. There is a mute, unmute, and a clear command. So, I want to go ahead and just showcase you guys, um, when we just did help, I could show you mute, but that's not a good idea, because the only two people in here is myself and the bot, and if you mute either of us, well then I can't talk, and if you yeah it's just not a good idea and if you accidentally ever mute yourself just restart the server and the bot will refresh mutes it doesn't save the mutes per time that is really because of this problem what you also could do is inside of your server either type mch or minecraft hook just like so minecraft hook space help that'll print that or mch help and it does the same exact thing so, commands, minecraft hook verify, or minecraft hook help. There's two commands, it's pretty easy. And then, with that, we can go ahead and try mch verify. Now, we are in the console, and it's going to print us with this, uh oh, this player is only, this is a player only command, so we're gonna have to load up minecraft for this. I'll be right back with you guys once I'm in the server. Alright, so Minecraft is launching, and while Minecraft is launching, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and add the needed roles for our server. So we're going to go ahead and in Discord do server settings, and go to roles. Here you're going to want to go ahead and add a couple new roles. Well, actually, only just one. Um, that new role went there, that's okay. So what we're going to want to do is type in verified. This role can be named whatever, or it can't, well, it can be named whatever, yes. I'm going to name it verified. I'm going to give it a color. Color doesn't matter. You could do whatever you want for permissions. Uh, you could make it manage servers or not. Your choice. I'm just going to do the top two, though. And then we can also just, just delete this role. I didn't mean to make an extra role. <laughs> so, delete new role. Okay. And save the changes. Verified can also be moved above that, so that way you pop up before the Discord bot. That's all cool. Alright, so go close that now. Now you should be able to see that we're all good. We're also going to want to create two new channels. As in the config, there was an off topic. I'm pretty sure it had an off minus topic. Did it not? Right here. Off topic. No, it didn't. So we have a general and off topic. I'm going to show you guys what those two do. We're also going to want a Minecraft chat. Alright, so come back here. 
off topic doesn't have the minus, so that's okay. And then a Minecraft chat. Those three, you can name them whatever and just change them in the config and reload the server after that change, because at the moment, no reason to uh, have a reload config. It's You shouldn't be editing this and reloading on the fly. But that is all of that, and verified right here is the name of the role that we just made. So now, when we go ahead and log into the server in Minecraft, let's go ahead and join local host, as I'm hosting it on the same computer. We should be able to go ahead and type in slash mch space verify, and it will go ahead and show us what we have to do to finish up. So slash mch verify. Let's see if I can spell that. Alright, so it's going to tell us to go ahead and get verify within eight random letters stuff SGDA. So we're going to go ahead and type this into our Discord server. So, control paste, enter. And boom, registered. Registered TJ Plays Now. TJ Plays Now, it's the same exact thing. It's pretty cool. It also tells us the time that we registered and all of that great stuff. So now, I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and say, hey, in Minecraft. And you can see right here in Minecraft Minecraft chat, we have this brand new thing. TJ Plays Now said, hey. And you could just go ahead and type anything in the Minecraft server, such as, make sure you subscribe, guys. And uh, let's see if I, I really have trouble spelling sometimes, but now it says make sure you subscribe, guys. That is the chat from Discord to Minecraft. Now let's go ahead and talk about chat to Minecraft from... I said that backwards. That's the chat from Minecraft to Discord. Let's talk about the chat from Discord to Minecraft. So if I go ahead and type in hey here, you're going to be able to see in Discord, TJ Plays Now said hey. Also, if I type in um, hello, man, right there, it'll also go ahead and say, and hashtag off topic, TJ plays now said hello, man. Now, you can use whatever Discord text channel you want, as long as you just add it to this list. So, you can go ahead and copy to a new line, and you can just go ahead and say, Minecraft minus, um, chat. And now it'll copy everything from that chat, too. And you could change this to be general, it really doesn't matter. Or if you don't want chat sync to be turned on, you could set it to false, and it won't have chat sync for anything. So set that to false as well, and that's that. Now let's go ahead and talk about the commands that you can have. These commands are Discord bot commands. So if you want to say, have a command that says some stuff about the server, such as the IP or something, you could just do exactly this and Typing in command test makes the bot say this is a test command. And then if we head back into this to add a new command, you just copy this line and paste it down. And basically all we need to change is website, web, website if I could spell. And then website colon space uh, http colon slash slash now dot ddns.net. Alright, and then we could also add in a special little emoji. So let's say we want a globe emoji for our website. We can just go ahead and Earth would be a better emoji. Um, we're gonna go... No, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted Earth America. Because Americas are the greatest lands. I don't know. So, Earth Americas right there. Just like that. If we save this, in order to reload the bot, and it looks like there was an error because... Oh, I know what the problem was. Alright, so it didn't give me the verified role. Let's go ahead and talk about why that didn't happen. So, if we go into roles, look where the Discord Minecraft hook is compared to this. He has to be above the roles that you want him to be able to hand out. So, if you want an admin role that he cannot change, put the admin role up here. But, for any roles that you want him to change, put, put those roles beneath him. That's why he didn't give us the role. We can go ahead and give ourselves the role right now, though, because we know that it should have worked. And it does work, as long as... Yeah, that's why that happened. I totally didn't realize it. But, 
in here. We we have to to reload the server anymore. We have to fully stop the server. Otherwise, the Discord bot will have multiple instances of himself, and it's not fun dealing with that. You have to fully stop it and then fully start it up again. And that's pretty easy to do, really. It doesn't take more than 30 seconds, and you should only ever have to start and stop the server because of the bot once. And for any other plugin, you could use something like a uh, plugin reloader. And it looks like we had YAML exceptions. Um, that is because I know why. We had to put it in. So right here, you're gonna wonder why. Ah, uh, it didn't work. We have to put it inside of quotes. I totally forgot. Also, I spelled website wrong. <laughs> All right do that, stop it, and restart the server. So make sure if you're going to use anything with colons, anything with colons or anything really, you should just use quotes inside of your um, strings because it's just more efficient, I don't know the real reason, but just use quotes. So now we can go back and start the bot one last, or start the full server one last time, and everything should work fine this time. We're gonna cross our fingers, though, because, well, we never know. But the server is starting now, and it's going to go through all of its crazy stuff again. And then the bot is on and active. Now, as soon as the bot says, receive one guild, we can go ahead and type in website. And that will <laughs> do exactly that. It shows us our website and the globe emoji plus then this. Make sure you have the quotes. It breaks without the quotes. But that is just about everything that you need to know about the Discord Minecraft hookbot. If there is anything else um, I could think of, let's see. Alright, here's a couple things you might want to do. You might want to just turn off all custom commands. You could just set that to false. You might want to turn off the unmute for some reason, but leave mute on. Sure. You might want to turn off clear. You don't need to turn off clear, it'd be a bad idea. <laughs> well, really, you can turn anything on and off. You can turn off verify, making it so your users can't actually verify. That is a bad idea if you want to use the bot to verify things, but maybe you just want the bot for the commands. I don't know. And you could just change quite a bit of things. Make sure that this version doesn't change. That is used for the config to tell you when you have to update your config, and it is very important to update your config in those new versions, but you should always keep a copy so that way you don't have to get the client ID or the token again. And the prefix, let's talk about that real quick. The prefix is what you type in before the command, so exclamation mark is the prefix in this case. That is why I can type in exclamation mark test, and it will act like a command. But me typing in period test won't. Not unless I change that prefix to period then. It cannot be more than one prefix, and it's pretty simple. You can have the prefix be any number of things. Maybe you want it three. I've seen some bots do that. Maybe you want it to be, um, dot in. I don't know. Your choice. Exclamation mark just looks nice to me. I will suggest don't use the slash, as slash can have a couple discord commands, such as gamers... Escape. I all of these different things. Nick, shrug, unflip, table flip. There's a lot of things. So I would just suggest not doing a slash for your command. The last thing to look at is going to be um no, that's that's it. So well, actually, you can turn off the help command, or you can turn off the verify command in Minecraft as well. That is the last thing. So you don't want Minecraft command help to actually do anything, just set it to false. Or same as... Yeah, just same thing for verify and whatever else. That is just about everything you need to know about the bot so far. We are having another video right after this, explaining the newest add-on to the bot. So make sure you go take a look at that if you guys want to see how add-ons work. It looks like I had an old pointer exception because of something that I said in chat. I think I said exclamation mark space. That's going to probably make an error. I don't know what that error is from. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Must have done something. But that is going to end off today's video. I do hope you guys 
enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys will use this bot if you have a purpose to. It's pretty great. So, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.